sick of it. <laughs> sick of it all. The topic for today, you know, the sick of it. <laughs> Sick of it all, <laughs> bro. I promise you, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one going through this hay fever situation. I've been like this for two weeks, bro. Two weeks. <sighs> Ech, it's been annoying. If anybody, if anybody has like medicine or something to work against this, because I've been trying to take my medicine, it, it feels like it'll work. Vicks with napkins all day. Oh, and also me fantasy in there. The last time it wasn't in there because, you know, it was fine. But right now, if you live in Holland, you know, it's like about 26 degrees. It's feeling like the devil's favorite place. It's hot. It's, bro. Ech, that's your whole big calor. So I have my fan here. So if it's sounding a bit in the background, I'm so sorry, not sorry, but I'm not about to sweat here for 30 minutes. I'm so sorry. And also I got my water. This is it. Those are... My best use for now. Also, yeah, we're trying to survive. Like, what? But sign up for so. I know it's color, but I don't feel completely bad for y'all because y'all can swim. You see the water here? Busted and disgusted. Please, we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're back with another unfold and unpack um, episode. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love and support. You guys gave on the first episode um you know i swear i've seen a ton of like messages and dms and um comments like people relating like even though i wanted that to happen but like there was so many of y'all that really um and still are messaging me actually i do have one when we get alisa not that i remember um but i wanted to say thank you so much for like how do you say like I'm happy that I let you guys feel like it's a safe space and that you can DM me or message me or comment. So, yeah. Um, so, the message for me, uh, let me see, the screenshot, yeah. So, it says, um, I forgot to tell you that watching your Unfold and Unpack video really hit home since I'm just taking my time at this moment as well. A lot of the things you were touching on is my current feeling, but haven't been able to express. Yeah, I haven't been able to express. I even showed my boyfriend a couple of days ago because it resonated that much. Just wanted to say I appreciate you for sharing that and I'm excited for your journey and then she put like a heart. So yeah, um, but some messages something that really um, mean a lot to me, especially because this is a really raw and safe space type of segment on my channel. So I'm glad you guys like receive it well. What's that going? So yeah we're going on for the second episode buckle up girl i'm finna rent today <laughs> let us see away oh, i was saying i was saying quinty um if y'all have any like recipes or medicine or something you use for hay fever don't gatekeep it and that's one of the first things i'm gonna talk about today so as y'all know summer other than the summer gaba uh other course this is just a random thing gym thing and weather aki it is not for the week bro it is not this is like i used this like a week ago because obviously it's washed but a week ago i tried going to the gym i mean in leggings and not be another let me be so fair walking like i was suffering like it was warm like it could be a whole short top. Even though I don't feel that comfortable doing it, but it's gonna be shorts and a and a big shirt or something like that because who but anyway, as you guys know, summer, the like Zika summer, so you know people be posting their Instagram outfits and stuff like that. And if there's one thing that has been bugging me, you know, because I'm planning stuff for the summer as well, so I want to, you know, buy stuff. Um look cute or whatever for the summer but some of y'all gatekeeping outfits on tiktok and instagram and stuff why what what does 
this help you with? Uh, honest to God, bro. Like, the gate, like, it, a, it boils just like a caloric key. It boils my insides or a manier when it's a post it. And you know, at first, okay, you didn't know that your video would go viral. So, you know, you just posted your cute outfit. The second you realize that it's going viral, can you please put the codes? Because Zara, H&M, Bash Caprila, they not paying you. Or maybe they are. But for the ones that are acting like y'all info... Girl. Let me, let me calm up, no, I'm not for the karma. Because honestly, for y'all acting like y'all influencers and shit, you're okay, okay. So if you proclaim to be the so-called influencer, you're supposed to influence me to buy it. If you don't tell me where to buy it, how am I gonna buy it? That means you did not do your job correctly. You couldn't influence me to buy it because you don't give me the damn information. Gatekeeper not the help with Uncle Nada, bro. Like, honest to God, like, if you... Matter of fact, how about you do share the codes? Because I promise you, you're not the only one wearing it out here. And I promise you, Zara and all of them places, they want sale, bro. So, you gatekeeping is not helping with anything. Like, I understand your little 10 second clip was very cute and all. I liked it. And I was interested in the dress because you looked good in it or the pants or whatever I saw on the internet. But that 10 seconds, baby girl, like that 10 seconds going viral, like one kidding, you're not the only one that has that dress, bro. So and you know what the thing is? I'm glad for like the rest of the people on the internet. Cause they gonna find it and they they gonna comment it and then you gonna look like a damn fool. Stop gatekeeping, y'all. Don't do that. Don't I come on stop gatekeeping and the oh another thing that I hate so much like but some ow I'm sorry this heat has been bugging me see about the gatekeeping a quick twenty oh my god I didn't see all the top girl <laughs> you didn't see the comments you didn't hear your phone go ding 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 ding. Don't lie to me. You're not lying to me, bro. Wait, you gotta make space to go to these clothes. Don't lie to me. You see the only we get girl. Mm. Hey whack. We miss not you big following. Not the tour or any post that go over there, you know, crazy. But if there's one you know damn well you on your phone, so you see everybody asking and you still gatekeep. But keep it on. Why? 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 You are you making bank off of gatekeeping? No, you're not. I bet you a company lo kepa bobisa una ba compre so they can actually, you know, link up with you and be like, oh Sas, since you know she's sharing all of the outfits and stuff, we're gonna make bank with her. Y'all don't gatekeep this summer, please. All through the year, summer, spring. Fall, winter, don't gatekeep. We're not doing that. But anyway, speaking of um, him and Lucky, like brands and companies and working with people and stuff like that, I have never said this like out loud. I've always said this money with my group of friends, bro. Yeah, I would, you know. No kind, please. See, um, y'all know that I'm the CEO of PSL, so Pati Supports Logo, so y'all y'all know what my vibe is. Pero, I think I've realized over the past couple of years, something that I noticed a lot happening is something I'm about to say right now. This hair is bugging me. Please. See, um, that I've been noticing that's happening like not a lot I mean yes a lot a little bit and it's annoying and I just wanted to like talk on it is y'all want small businesses to stay small 
Yep, I said it. I said it out loud. And I'm gonna explain why I've been ignoring but do like because someone keeps it annoying but do like anyway. Um see y'all want small business to say small. I say it to say because I feel like some people be complaining about prices and it's like it small businesses are not are not your Zara's like I was mentioning Zara at HM so but they're not your Zara's in the prelude that they have like big um or most of them don't have a big team behind them or you know it's usually a one man show type thing and if they do have help it's maybe two to three people so y'all complaining about prices or like let's just say it's something that i see a lot happening in the minute you go to somebody and you ask them hey can i do this service you know um and then the person tells you the price oh my god it's so expensive and then you go to somebody else you're like i can get it cheaper somewhere else okay but i promise you most of us and i say us because now also said i kind of launched my no not kind of i did launch um my services that i'm providing so i'm not that i'm experiencing it but i i think it's gonna happen to me too as well pero you saying oh my god i'm gonna get it somewhere else but cheaper or something like that not to knock down the other person that you're going to but when you come to me honey and the price that i tell you is quality over quantity and that's some period it just it bugs me but so it's like y'all don't know all of the behind the scenes that go into making the product that the person is is selling or you know the amount of time the amount of effort certain things people forget money just a simple clothing right let's say if somebody's hand make hand making hand making a clothing like a, a dress or something bro the order is cosimento you gotta go get the 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 material you gotta check the sizing you gotta know how to sew you said you're gonna deliver it in five days so you gotta do all of that make the dress and then you still gotta ship the dress and then you still gotta make send an email like all of these things and most of the time it's like one person one to three people managing all of that so it is so warm that my camera overheated bro if i say sick of it sick of this color bro anyway but back to what i was saying um when i tell y'all to like go support locals no i didn't say go so go and complain bro know what you're supporting when you go to somebody or um you invest in like a brand or a company or whatever like know what you're actually asking for kind of like research it because i don't like me not the photo walk that everybody knows what goes into it not even i do like because i'm like connected with certain people i see what they go through and it sometimes bugs me when i see people do that it's like come on now like it's one person behind that whole brand and you you bugging come on now so to me like a lot i promise you a lot of these small businesses that are very much genuine it's no good genuine and though like it's very much quality over quantity and i can speak for myself like with my youtube channel even because i don't i don't be selling clothes or well i do have merch period but i don't have a, like a product you know i'm a, a content creator so and now i do have services and stuff but thinking about like my my content like when I took the break time, I, okay, sad, yeah, sure. People can ask me, like, when are you gonna, you know, come out with content? Like, oh my god, when are the vlogs coming? Okay, cool, honey, but quality over quantity. I'm gonna take my time. And the ones I bring, the content is quality over quantity. And even though now I'm like consistent every single week, it's because I sat and I thought about 
everything that I want to do and some of the things are pre-recorded so I know what type of quality I'm bringing already you know so they say me the visa like if you go and support a local just think about a little bit just think about the time the money that goes behind that so you're not just buying Asia you know what I said you're buying like in my side, it sounds cliche, but you're buying somebody's dream. Like, literally, like, somebody actually put in time and effort. What's that going? Like, you don't go, you don't go to, um, um, Zara. I'm sorry I'm mentioning Zara, but that's the, the brand right now that's been going on and on. Anyway, you don't go to Zara and then you see, big, and, and the Zara is a good example because they're expensive for no reason. But, uh, I can't say no reason, but anyway. You know what I'm talking about because on basic as sure Nazara lot of money just single for that door. Now bear school primary it could be fine, but again quality on Kizara. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You don't go to Zara. You don't be going to Zara and say, "Oh, this is 50 euros. Why? Why is it 50 euros? Can't you like drop the price now?" Because you know that they give you the quality that they give you, the price is set because of a certain standard. So it goes the same for small businesses. Like, put some respect on their name. Don't disrespect them. Like, please. <laughs> Love these people. Like, understand where they're coming from. And, you know, just do a bit of research as to what the brand is actually selling and why they sell it as at a certain price look at the product so so um gonna be sad like what they use to make the product or something like that in the product detail. like you know what i'm saying like just be a bit thoughtful on things like that you know because i mean again as i was saying with like with my content i mean like now i'm consistent for instance kibo d we could have we could have um pushed content to kibo d like let's say january right Give y'all mad episodes to Luna, like, um, I'm pressed that we did, like, the double episodes, right? Stand where we gave y'all, like, every single month, two episodes, that would be, like, 24 episodes of PBD. Amazing, right? That would be great. Of course it would be. But we are not people that give y'all mediocre. I'm sorry. Like, we invest time and effort in our ideas and what we want to bring to y'all. So, I prefer to give you quality in half a year so like august july then to give you mediocre for a year that's all i'm saying and i think i kind of speak for some small businesses ifotami and other content creators as well like i don't want to give you mediocre i'm not like please i don't be giving y'all mediocre y'all don't deserve mediocre you know what i'm saying so yeah it could go home like it's been Bugging me and the get your acts right. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Get it together, please. Stop wanting a small business to say small. Okay, the next time you go and support a small business, think about what I just said. And speaking of keep a D, keep is gonna come back, y'all. <laughs> it's not to say that it's not gonna come back, it was just like a, a, a how do you say an example um so just know that it's gonna come hopefully we're gonna i'm not gonna say a date or whatever but right before the summer ends so just like um last year we started like in half of the year we dropped some episodes um we're just thinking of ideas having meetings and stuff so yeah don't worry about that cutie is gonna come back do not worry um let me know if you come on me oh how can i forget this week is beyonce week and if you've been following me on um instagram i'm a concert girly like by now i feel like most of y'all know but i'm a concert girly like i love going to concerts i love seeing my um my favorite artists or artists that i just listen to like i love that pero it is something i gotta talk about is concert etiquettes off the top of my head bro if you are somewhere near golden circle i call it the golden circle golden circle vip things like that i expect you to know the songs 
the lyrics. If you are fighting for a spot in front, I beg of you, please know the lyrics. Because we as real OG fans, we are going there because we know the lyrics. We want to sing our hearts out. Okay? I can't, you can't be telling me you stood there for three hours, five hours to fight for a spot just so you can film that part that you saw on TikTok. You got me, you got me all the way messed up. Girl. I hate the era that we are in right now. I love TikTok Kutuko, pero people are getting to know, are getting to know new artists or like old songs that we as OGs know. And then some of y'all go there just to film that part. But what are they gonna do? Wow, y'all, this camera overheated again. I'm sorry. I was just getting my shit off. <laughs> anyway, it's different to see my name with a couple friend or something. If you don't know the songs like that, baby girl, get a seat. Or, Kuba Kita in the Golden Circle to be like with people that know the songs for real, for real. Don't be fighting with us as OGs because I promise you, oh. I'm gonna do a little story time. There was this one time I went to this concert, and this girl, oh, and I'm short. This is why I choose the golden circle. If you see a short person, please be respectful. Please be respectful. Because we cannot see jack shit. So that's why we go front and center to see something. But anyways, I went to this concert, and this girl, she was talking about sad, been here for three, and I see her, she pushing and pushing, and of course, she's, Mm -hmm. and she was pushing and trying to get in front you know and stand, and she was tall tall anyway concert started Kiki Miss Mama didn't know the lyrics and when the artist said where are my day one fans at she said I said baby girl you better put your hand down I I think the hell not everybody said that because I'm like I'd be damned you talking about day one fan you didn't even know the song what you put in your hand up and then you fighting me and you and then she was like yeah i'm like still tr for three your chance and i deserve to stand here you deserve i deserve to stand here you need to know the lyrics and then you might get the deserved ticket how about that it just bugs me bro it bugs me and if i was out again we're in this tiktok era so everybody want to be in front and get the shot oh my god please bro please Another thing, if you're gonna go early, please pack some Dior, especially right now in this heat. It's a lot of people. We are packed as sardines. We cannot escape. We cannot come out. Mama, we trapped in this bombo. Come on. Get your hygiene together. Por favor. Por favor. And the last thing that I want to say, stay pusha. Stop the push up. This pushing, like, please, why? why? Why are we doing that? Why are we running? You're already in front. You're already like, early. why Why are we doing all of this? We see in the same, we're gonna stand in the same line. Why are we doing all of this? Let's not fight, okay? But yes, I'm about to see Beyonce and I'm excited. <laughs> I just have to get that on my chest. Oh, and one last thing. Dress comfortable. I know we all want to like look cute and everything, but honey boo boo wearing heels, now golden circle or sun plaza is not it. I'm gonna tell you right now. Like, I don't know which concert you're going to next, but unless you got seating tickets, honey, I mean, I'm not telling you not to wear certain things, but I'm gonna tell you as a concert lover and goer, like, you gonna get tired. Your feet is gonna beg for mercy. So wear something comfortable. Get some cute sneakers, you'll be fine. I promise you that. Matter of fact, you ain't with the bai wacky bow. What about grab with the You ain't you ain't filming your shoes. You're filming your top, so make sure your hair right, your face right, your top cute, you're good to go. <laughs> Please, laganos, laganos sa honesto, okay? Because all of these concert outfits, um, 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 inspos, very cute and stuff. The Renaissance, you know that way you're not wearing that jacket in this heat. Come on now, Romana, me, camera, uh, 
again overheat so that's my cue also to get out of here but before I do I did want to touch on something I spoke about um, in the last unfolded unpack which was me quitting my job and um, not telling my mom y'all the way this woman was so supportive of my decision it was crazy i think i yeah by that time that this episode comes out you guys will already see the reel or tiktok that i posted of her voice note um but like she was so supportive like she stood behind me um and i wanted to say thank you mom like of course we already spoke but it really meant a lot to me because i thought that conversation would have been left like i told y'all like i was thinking like oh my god she's gonna be worried blah 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 but like she was so supportive of my decision and understood why i wanted to do it and also i said i want to like get a job in like marketing or something like that at a company um for the upcoming years i don't think i'm gonna do that anymore <laughs> I decided that it's gonna be just for this year I want to get like a nine-to-five like a very simple job that I can be flexible with my work hours and still work on my own services because as I told y'all I already launched it and I'm getting opportunities and people approach me for this so I'm very happy I went live with it I'm excited for you know this journey um, but yeah so I decided I'm just gonna do like something simple um, that just gives me the freedom to also work on what I actually want to do so hopefully that also goes well um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this unfold and unpack I was ranting a lot we spoke about a lot we spoke about gatekeeping supporting locals concert etiquettes update on my job thing so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know um, what are your thoughts also on these topics in the comment down in the comment section down below? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I mean, basically, you can't be double fine again because there's still a bunch more. We're keeping it real here, here, here. Because I mean, not kaba, I mean, I mean, not kaba. But um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You can't be aki. Para de la fanity because whoo baby see y'all